Yes, you. Which, uh, John Vernon, remember? You saved me from the drowners. It was Coppolis then. Now, nah, why, my purse is bursting. Mm hmm. With coin that belonged to the refugees. Vengeance tastes sweet. I thought you'd come for your reward. I'll gladly pay, mind you. You saved my life, no two ways about it. But if you're looking for a bruising, well, you'll find it. Coin doesn't stink. Give it here. There you are. May it multiply in your purse. Now go. Faster. Always like this is a real big rat. But it really feels like a soft. The woman's mad. Unfortunately, eh? Imagine where she gets the queen to feed that band of cats. Oh dear, you'd be surprised. Take it easy. Greetings, Witcher. Hear about the White Lady. As I hoped. I notice it's been hanging so long, sun's near bleached it blank. Managed to decipher it somehow, but I need more information. Ask away. Afraid to go out in the fields anyway for fear of ending up like Miko and his band. Miko and his band, who are they? Four lads, drunkards and good for nothing at all. They drained a few pints and decided they'd all plow the white lady. Maybe then she'd bugger off. Romantics? Hmm. Seems the white lady spurned their advances. They still lie in the field. Folk are afraid to bury him. So the White Lady haunts your fields? True. Just past the hut near the old tower. Folk say she's made her home there. So, will you save us from her? White Lady can wait. Let's talk about my pay first. Oh, so be it. I can toss in that bit. Yeah, I'll take care of it. Using more effective means than brave Miko. Seems to me I've never been before.
Dried blood. Really old. The singeing, on the other hand, is fresh. Unnatural. The medallion vibrates near it. Whatever he saw just before he died gave him quite a scare. Bodies dried to a crisp. Signs of burns. Noon Wraith did this. Pale skin, but no blood loss. This is no vampire. I expected to see four bodies. Deep, uneven tracks. Someone fled blindly in a panic. Dragged the body downstairs, but it wasn't their kill. Skin's unnaturally pale, cracked. Hmm. All the signs point to a new wraith. She's avoiding me. Better find something that belonged to her. She'll have to show then. White ladies and noon wraith. That means God's poor Lucy. Lucy. She was gonna marry, right? Yeah. Her parents swore her to a smith from the city. Well to do, sure, but older and more brittle than elven ruins. Lucy ran from the altar out into the field. Where she slashed her veins. Used the silver dagger she'd gotten for the betrothal. Wait. Let me show you. Lucy's parents couldn't bear to sell it, bury it even. They left it in my care. I want to send her away, but I've got to bring her close, lure her first. I need an object that belonged to her. Dagger would be perfect. Take it, but kill Lucy. Promise me. She shouldn't suffer no more.
Touch me wifey and I'll smack you sideways. What was the dwarves? It's a right. <laughs> Greetings, Witcher. Problem solved. You can go back to your fields. Thank you. Your coin. And may fortune smile upon you. the tax. Tax. I serve the eternal fire. Oh.
Welcome. What have you got there? Shining a brilliant well, well. among cities, here. cradle the of the eternal fire. Yet it is How here the darkness sense? raises its hideous head. A deceitful Doppler, doubling as commander of you the play guard. Gwent, don't you? A band of charlatans, oh, diviners, is that and witches, poised to pinch your purity and prosperity. The time has come for this to end. So you play For or us not. to cast off evil. I, I play. Do you renounce evil? We so play evil. me. Stake a unique Do card, you maybe. Do renounce Why evil?
can't rightly recall the last time May I the was holy so flame burned. of the eternal I fire sure. complete this cleansing. Tell me. This purging of pestilence There's into purity. For instance. She don't boast about it, but she has one of the best How decks we in to town. Fight a pestilence and that changes form. Well. No I know what I'm talking father, about. Brother or bride, look upon your neighbor. For he too could be a Doppler. Will we submit to uncertainty? Will we allow monsters and charlatans to overrun our city? No evil can survive the holy fire. The holy fire enlightens, burns, and cleanses. Behold the flame of grace and mercy. Special pyre for you, freak. Nice, slow burning. You'll beg for mercy in all the voices known to you by the others of your speech. I wanted only to live like you! Help me, kind folk! Please! Sure hope Dudu hasn't met the same fate. Be calm. Geralt of Rivia, known as the White Wolf, the Butcher of Blaviken. Geralt of Rivia is enough. What is it? A man came to me a few years past, paid me to keep a book for you. Said you'd come for it one day. Who was he? Um, he didn't introduce himself. But the book has a red cover, that I remember. I'm sure I've not sold it. All right, see if I can find it. And perhaps glance at the others while you're at it. Be glad to look over what you got. Adventures of Muriel the Lovely Harlot, adorned with humorous engravings. <laughs> the treatment of her uncles through cauterization, the study. Festo. Must be it. There's a letter inside. Oh my. Interested in books? You don't look the scholar, but oh, we've ones with drawings as well. Up 
for a few rounds of Gwent.
afloat. The f welcome. Well. What have you got there? So long. How can I be of service? Got some coin I'd like to convert into crowns. You've come to the right place. A better rate you'll not find anywhere in the city. How can I be of service? How's business? Really? That's the best you've got. That's like asking a fisherman if they're biting, or an old gran about her health. Business is booming. There's profit to be made from war, provided you've the know-how. Before Nilfgaard had even crossed the pond tar, I'd contracted for insured deliveries of wood and iron from Covia. Reaped a sevenfold return on my investment. Nice. So you might think. But then there's the non-human poll tax, the church's tithe, war taxes, and my overhead. Subtract all that and you're left with a pittance. A dozen or so chests and no more. Till next time. Welcome. Welcome. What have you got there? So long. So to us. Hey, sod off. We're looting here. Want you gone by the time I count to three. One. Hear that? Two. Ooh, look he. Thinks he can scare us off. Three. Split it. Plenty here for everyone. I'm not a thief. Looking for the sorceress who lived here. Most likely I did in some rat trap with the rest of them. Who's she hiding from? Temple Gods cracking down. All mages are fair game. Yeah, they round them up like rats. Someone's gotta know more. I'd look for her in a putrid grove. Putrid Grove. Interesting, as names go. Oh, I've a scum and freakery if it ever was one. No decent folk show their hides there. That why you think I should look for my friend there? Oh, I meant no offense. Putrid Grove. Where is it? I wouldn't know. Rumor has it, it's a place for freaks and oddities. You'd fit in well there. Maybe. Thing is, gotta know how to get there. They say you gotta get there through the sewers, but you gotta enter them outside of town. Few know where exactly, though. Ask a beggar, or spot yourself a thief, follow him. Beggars and thieves gotta pay tribute to the king of beggars. Word is, they do it in the grove. Mean to say the local beggars have a king, crown, scepter, and all that? Wouldn't scoff, mate. King of beggars, it's a moniker. Yeah. For a man who everyone in Novigrad respects deeply. And watch yourself. Menger himself don't even go to the Grove. Someone call for me. Wonder why. 
This Menga. Temple God! Thieving vermin to the confession chamber. What, but sir, what's the offence? This is some sorcerer's bitchy shop. Think that gives you the right to steal her property? Well, sorcerers, majors of all types, are outlaws. But by law, the temple guard takes possession of their belongings. And the rule of law still holds in Novigrad. You know a bat can sniff out a moth a mile away. Got nothing to do with their sense of smell. It's about their hearing. Well, well. Man knows his bats. Here I thought you only cared about monsters. And as bats sense moths, so I sense freaks. And start by warning them. Novigrad's no place for your kind. I haven't done anything wrong. But you will. Sooner or later, your sort always causes trouble. And this city's mine to protect. Mine, and the eternal fires. Nothing I can do to you now. But just know that I know you're here. One misstep, one error. You'll make a mistake, it's inevitable. I'll be the first to learn of it. And when I do, it'll be standard procedure. Like for every magic oddity who dares taint this city's air. Be seeing you. Deepest apologies, Governor. Fetch some metal, wretch. I've been robbed! Thief! Let one stray in, and before you know it, the neighborhood's full of. Yo, 
tell me misery, good folk, and aid a man crippled by misfortune? Word is, nothing's free in Novigrad. Oh, none of them come bursting with questions. Now, where do you folk gain the idea we beggars know everything? I need to see this, and I need to find that one who robbed me brother. Fuck if I know! There's this place in Novigrad they call the Putrid Grove. Aye, it's about right. Well, Novigrad's full of nooks and crannies with odd names. Looking to sightsee by a bloody man. Heard men like you frequent this alley. And I've heard they fed you all shit and you smiled and ate it. Now, don't make no offense. Go in peace. So, Got the courage to repeat that slander to my face? Readily. You are a mutant. A freak. A useless relic of a bygone age that should be burned like a withered branch. For a relic, I'm pretty darn good with a sword. Or a cut where you'd bleed to death before you hit the ground. Run out of things to say? Good. The preacher's fierce in the mouth. Put all are at him and his tail slinks between his legs. Come on, people. That's you around, eh? Whitehead one. Ah! From now on, assume your living rules. And a bad nation make a living. Eyes a war veteran. Arms for the poor. You lame? No chance. Both legs in perfect order. And me arms look like a windmill's wings. There. See me waving them? Looky here. Just look. In my mind, thorough adult. I gotta find the place they call the Putrid Grove. I know it but won't say. I know it but won't say. Why not? Not allowed to say. I would tell you, though, if you didn't push, weren't so insistent. If you like, come again. I tell you then. Guess your mind truly is addled. Didn't I say so? Ah, oh, it's you again. Another chat, same as the first. My mind's thorough addled, but the rest of me spit as a fiddle. So, like I said, I'm looking for the putrid grove. Second time round, you wish is my command. It's that away. There. That away. Meaning where? In Lace Halls. There's this alley, past the gate. Not at all putrid and not a grove. Fools call it that, but I know better. And anyone can go there? Of course. Unless he forgets to say, the old sow's farrow piglets might not let you in then. But that's easy enough to say. Listen, the old sow's farrow piglets. See? Thanks for your help. Open up. Who are you and what you want? Take a look. What do you see? Yellow eyes. Pair of swords. Mutated kill at me. Heard this place was a meeting spot for oddities. Heard right. Know the password, get him free. Don't know it. Got to contribute to the Grove's upkeep. Old sows, ferrowed piglets. Ah. Welcome to the Grove, brother. Cards.
What are you offering? About time we made something clear, sorceress. Yes, high time. Me and my men will manage just fine without the help of you or any other mages. But you, well, without our help, you'll sit in ducks for the temple guard. Who do I spy? Geralt? Atris. See you two know each other. See you two know each other well. I was curious whether you managed to find me, Witcher. Your spies tell you I was looking for the Putrid Grove? My skull would be a home for bottom-feeding riverfish if I didn't keep an ear to the ground. And please, Putrid Grove? Ugly name for our cosy little hideout, wouldn't you say? Temple Guard tolerate your little operation. Let's say they appreciate the value of a Novigrad crown. Hmm. Manga doesn't seem like the type that can be bought. Anyone can be bought. But like is true, Manga had cost me a fortune. Luckily, he's got officers, and they're mere mortals. Illnesses catch him at times. Other times, they want to catch a bit of diversion. See, Witcher? I've got plans. Big plans, far-reaching plans to reshape this city head to toe. Ever thought of seeking a seat on the city council? City council is a puppet troop with the hierarchy of the Church of the Eternal Fire as its puppeteer. Until recently, that is, when Radovid and his witch hunters took the reins. The semblance of power don't interest me. A man with a vision. One day, the so-called free city of Novigrad will be truly free. But before that can happen, we got a rid it of superstition, farting around about the hallowed essence of the eternal fire. Nonsense for kiddies. Apparently not. Cheering crowd at the execution. Mostly adults. Any crowd a rabble will cheer to the stench of burning flesh. But one day, folk will understand the eternal fire's naught but a leash around their necks. They call this place the Putrid Grove, but it's the rest of Novigrad that's putrefied. This year's the last bastion of normality, sanity, reason. I'm actually glad someone like you's found his way to our city, because it will be our city one day, Geralt. Mark my words. Yours, plural. Yeah, mine. And me friends. But that's a tale for another time. For now, I'll leave you two alone. Because I can see, well, you clearly need it. Geralt, I have a lot of things to take care of in town. I'll be glad to tag along. What's your arrangement? He using you? Helping me to survive, actually. Six months ago, if somebody said Triss Miracle would be working for a Novigrad criminal, I'd never have believed it. Six months ago, Triss... Madam Sorceress. Beautiful as ever. Damn shame to part. Don't fret. Bound to be back soon. I take it you're a Novigrad on important business. Important doesn't do it justice. I'm looking for someone. More precisely? Young woman, who's like a daughter to me. Her? Here? No, impossible. She was here, 
There are witnesses, evidence. Was hoping you'd heard something. You've been here a while. I need you to help me find something, anything, a trace. I'll do everything I can, of course. Who might know more? to get those magic incense ingredients? Yes, somewhat with uh, difficulties, you might say. I was walking along the canal with a sack full of goodies for you. Looked up and spied a trio of temple guards coming the other way. Get to the point, Klug. No time today for one of your long stories. Wait! A sack full of magicalities and they were coming straight towards me. I don't easily frighten, but uh, I felt a cold sweat on my arse, I did. I'm afraid I had no choice. I dropped the sack in the water. I had to! When asked why, I claimed it contained a dead cat. You shan't believe this, but they believe me. I need that package, Klug. I've got a contract. It must be on the canal bed. Luckily, it was heavy enough to sink. I'm sure it'll turn up if you search. You expect me to pay you, then die for my goods into that ice-cold filth? I can do that. Where'd you toss the package? Near the crane. Second bridge in from the harbor. I didn't expect such devotion. Wanted to freshen up anyway. Let's go. Stop. Hear that? They've come for us. The fool didn't break until I began to prick his heels. Every man's got his sensitive spots. Interrogated a mage once. Pain couldn't touch him. Tore off his fingernails, crushed his bollocks. Nothing. Turned out. He was devilishly ticklish. I placed a beetle on his belly and set a mug atop it. Damn you, went bad. We were lucky this time, but... You'd best leave via the sewers. The trapdoor's in the floor. Take care of yourself, Klug. There's a draft. Should be an exit here. Klug wouldn't have sent us here if there wasn't. Must be a lever on this wall that'll open the secret passage. Very reason so many mages came here after the massacre at Loch Nguyen. Thought they'd be safe from Radovid's reapers. Instead, they jumped out of the frying pan into the fire. But not. Judging by what Klug said, the parcel should be around here on the bottom. Unless the poor man was mistaken. He's been forgetful ever since Menga interrogated him. Seems to be suffering from a persecution complex, too. Current must have carried the sack seaward. I'll swim towards the port. Coming with? Maybe some other time. Don't know what you're missing. Water's thick with pungent oils. Guessing it'll do wonders for my complexion.
find the parcel? Or did you get wet for no reason? Nothing like a refreshing swim in a filthy canal. Found a few fish, a rusty anchor, the carcass of a boat. Oh, and this. Oh, my package. Hope the contents aren't soaked through. Oh, you're a doll. Seem to be in your element. Still remember my elements? How I use them? Come on. Six months isn't that long. It's not like I'm senile. But you do have a history of amnesia. I've recovered my memory completely. Good. That should stop people from taking advantage of you. Someone's been taking advantage of me. I have, for one. I've never even intimated. We need to hurry. Greetings, sorceress. Greetings, Brandon. I didn't expect you to bring company. Triss, you told this man you're a sorceress? Of course. She was looking for work. That's her chief asset. Are you, Triss? I know it was reckless, but competition's stiff here. No one would hire me if I claimed to be a common rat catcher. More importantly, no one would believe such a beauty could be an exterminator of rodents. But I'd prefer you not to tarry and begin. Triss, you and Brandon here. You've agreed a price? We settled on a full coin purse. Brandon and Co. is a serious outfit. We've the largest granary in all Novigrad. All right then. Let's get to work. We need to place these crystals around the granary, near anything that looks rat-related. <laughs> I'll cover half the space. You take the other half. Look for evidence of rat activity. Mm hmm Thing is, I know what evidence of manticore activity looks like, but rodents? Geralt, we'd both rather be somewhere else. I'd rather be sitting in a royal council meeting, but they killed my king. Look for crevices and droppings. Once we place this incense, what then? I'll cast a spell and the rats will leave. Can't do that without sprinkling incense? Don't really feel up to looking for rat shit. Stop whining. fireworks. Once I activate the incense, we'll have a moment to talk. Well, now we wait for them to scurry away. Interesting method. Never had much luck with rats. Once I hit one with a fork in complete darkness, trying to show off my witcher's senses. Masterful throw, really. Problem was, no one else saw it. How could they in the dark? <laughs> so, what do you think? Rat catcher? It's a long way to fall from being advisor to Temeria's king. I'm just glad to see you safe and sound, and... Reconciled? I was worried about seeing you again. Doubted it could be pleasant. We said everything there was to say six months ago. I don't want to go back to that. I'm not going back to it. It's just... It's one thing to say something, it's another to actually do it. We promise to remain friends. I hope nothing will change that. So, tell me how Yen's doing? How do you know I found her? You didn't answer my question. How's Yen? She's fine. That's good. Asking about anything specific? Never mind. I got my answer.
Well, well. Are lovebirds having themselves a little chat instead of working? The job's done. Geralt, those are... I know who they are, Triss. My friends begged me to notify them if I encountered a mage, sorceress, what have you. Didn't have the heart to refuse. It's a trap, Geralt. This stank from the start. Such a sharp sense of smell. You should have legged it while you had the chance. I don't generally leg it. Here's what I think you should do. Pay up and march your boys out of here while there's still time. <laughs> don't be ridiculous. I didn't hire a sorceress in order to pay her. Take my advice, mutant. If it's not your business, stay out of it. Thanks for the advice, but I can't take it. All right, we've talked. Do what you gotta. Just remember, I can't help but get in your way. Heard enough from this horse, son. As have I. Neither is to leave here alive. I will. Don't kill me. Good sir, no. They forced me. Had I not told them, they'd have set fire to my home, my warehouse. The mage hunters know no mercy. Spare me, good man. Be not like those murderers. Shut up. I should kill you. Thing is, you'd be no good to anyone but the gulls as a corpse. So you'll live and pay us double. Now. Fine. Your coin. Now, get. Thanks, Geralt. You should try to keep better company. He was still better than some mages. You know, I've been thinking who might know something about Ciri. And I just got an idea. There's an Oniromancer in town, Kareem Tilly. Very capable, supposedly. Never trusted in Dreamer's abilities myself. kareen has been very effective. You should at least try. She's taken a job close by. Follow the canal, away from the fish market. The house is near the first bridge. Its owner, Dijon Kier, is a rich banker. Not coming with me? I've got some things to take care of. Another rat-infested warehouse? Not exactly. Nothing even remotely satisfying. Such are the times. It was nice to see you again. You too, Geralt. You should go now. Before Corrine goes back into hiding somewhere. What if I want to find you? I live in the bits, near the fish market. Stop by. It'd be nice. All right. See you later. Just passing by, wanderer? Or do you seek something specific? Who's asking? Rudolf de Jonkier. Of those de Jonkiers, yes. My ancestors laid the foundations of this city. I now own its largest bank. Didn't need a recommendation. Name would have been enough. Father always said, all ought to know your merits, son. Don't hide them under a bushel. I'm looking for Kareem Tilly. Oh, you've come to the right place, then. Corrine is inside. Been there for a few days, dreaming the home's history. Why do you need to know the house's history? You a historian, or on a whim? I bought this property a short while ago. Paid a pretty penny, I might add. Soon after, I witnessed... 
disturbances led me to fear the home might be haunted. What are the symptoms? Oh, they vary. Giggling in the night and furniture moving about in the attic. And last week, well, you shan't believe it, I found human feces in the parlor. Not interested in what's going on inside? Seeing it for yourself? I'm a banker. Cursed homes scare me. Do you know how a haunting can affect property value? Point of fact, Corinne requested she not be disturbed. I'd like to go inside, look around. I don't usually let strangers rummage around my home. Twin swords, though. You're a witcher. You may enter, call that my whim. The truth is, we're all ready to get Blood, don't spill it. Please. Wake up. It's just a dream. Wake up. The doll. The attic.
strange stuff. A doll. Drawing shows it lying in a cradle. Maybe I should find one. Another masterpiece. An oven and a blackened grate. Oh joy. A riddle. Saw an oven in the cellar. Maybe I'll find another clue there. scared of wee little Sarah. Ain't that funny? I wouldn't do that anymore if I were you, Sarah. You might scare someone so bad they'll hurt you. Why would someone hurt me? Having a spot of fun's not allowed anymore. What are you playing? That lady fell asleep, and I've sent her some horrible dreams. I'll not her wake, neither. I can do that, you know. Funny, isn't it? Very funny. Thing is, I gotta talk to the dreamer, so I'd like you to let her wake up. Little Sarah doesn't want her to wake. Little Sarah wants to play. You're lucky. I know you're a harmless godling, but others might not know, and then... And how'd you know I'm a godling, eh? How's that, eh? Eh? If it looks like one and acts like one, trust me, you're a godling. You give the dreamer nightmares and won't let her wake up. Why are you tormenting her? I'm not tormenting anyone. Scary dreams are great. What I love is when this big end chases me. Hen's got these red. Why do you live in a haunted house? Tell you the secret. <laughs> the house ain't haunted. Not one bit. I just pretend it is. Make everyone think that. It was sitting there all empty. So I moved in. Bigwig from the bank then came and bought it. I don't like bankers, especially not to live with, so I decided to give him a scare. He gave the banker a really big scare. See, he paid a lot for this house and won't give it up easily, which is why you need to find another home. I don't want to! I don't! I won't! Sarah, Novigrad's no place for a godling, but if you want to live here, that's your business, so let's make a deal. A deal? What kind? Leave the dreamer alone. In exchange, I'll tell the banker the house is haunted. For good, no way to lift the curse. You tell him that? What if he doesn't believe you? I'm a witcher. He'll believe me. Yes? 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 Do that and I promise not to bother your friend. Not even a little. You're awfully nice, you know. I don't hear that often. Thanks. Now go wake that sleepyhead. I won't stop her. She'll get up. But your yellow eyes are a bit frightening. Look, mine are pretty. Who are you? Triss Marigold sent me to see you. Gods. Horrible nightmares. I was supposed to dream the history of this house. Instead, I saw furniture. Hungry furniture that wished to devour me. 
I know it must sound foolish, but in the dream, well, it was all too real and not at all amusing. The work of a godling. She made people believe the house was haunted. Also injected your dreams with her little jokes. And you managed to wake me. I feel fortunate. We witchers have our ways. I thank you very much. The dreams, they were awful. Any way I can pay you back? There is, actually. I'm looking for a young woman who was seen in Novigrad. I can certainly try to help. But I'll need to clear my head first. After those deranged dreams, I feel it's full of cobwebs. Find me at the Golden Sturgeon. I rent a room there. All right. See you there. I saw Miss Corrine leave, but she refused to speak to me. Is the matter resolved? Or quite the opposite? Got a godling in your house. Name's Sarah, and she's an ornery little thing. Left her alone, but thought I should tell you about her. I thank you for being candid. Could you rid me of this beast? You can do it yourself. Just burn some burdock in the oven. She's sure to run. Godlings detest the smoke. I will not wage war on a beast, large or small. Piss on the godling, piss on the house. I must merely find a fool willing to buy it. Sir, I beg your pardon. Ah. Winds howling. Uh, help some fellas out, Master. We're a bit of coin short another round. Cause we're comrades, see? Witcher, ain't you? We're butchers. You slaughter, we slaughter. Except witches are more. Old villagers pitch in, lords out with their purses, ladies do like with their legs. <laughs> Guess I've been to the wrong villages, dealt with the wrong lords and ladies. Come on, don't make us beg. What's the wish you for, anyways? It's to help men in need. Fine, take this. Well, that's what I call loyalty to the guild. Thank you, master. We'll knock one back in your honor. It's the material world. Burgers and purchasers of the free yeah. city of Novigrad. What'll it be? Not hungry, not thirsty, but I sure wouldn't mind a round of Gwent. You will, are you? Look for your kind beyond the walls.
let it be. What are you serving? Farewell. A dream in here. Never witnessed a seance like this before, let alone participated. I will guide you. You must first achieve a kind of mental accord. I must ask some questions. You must answer them. It's important you're truthful. Answer from your heart. Your gift. Tell me how it works. It's hard to describe. To start with, I must gain an understanding of the bond between the person and the object I'm to dream about. I ask questions. Try to flesh out feelings, emotions. Truth is essential in this. And though most who come to me acknowledge that, Many refuse to speak openly of certain matters. Apart from which, they remain unaware of others, further obscuring things. What do you see in your dreams? I don't. It's my client who sees. My gift lies in summoning the right dreams. At times, nightmares or strong desires impose themselves on true events. It takes skill to separate seed from chaff. Let's begin. To start with, tell me a memory you have of this woman. What for? Do as I ask, please. I need the strongest, most complete memory you have of... Siri. The woman's name is Siri. Siri was orphaned during the Second War with Nilfgaard. Had no idea what to do with a young girl. So I did what I would have done with a boy, and took her to Kaer Morin. Figured some physical training, sword work, development of her stamina, couldn't hurt. I remember her standing on a crumbling wall. A stone came loose, she lost her footing. Caught her at the last possible instant. Strongest memory, though, is of her coming out of her room one day. Wearing a dress, and claiming she was indisposed. Knew then that Siri was maturing. It was unavoidable. I was lost in the face of that. I see. Do you wish to tell me anything more? No. Let's continue. You claim the woman has... abilities. Tell me about them. She's a child of the Elder Blood. A descendant of Bloody Falker? The rebel burned at the stake. The prophecies claim the world's destroyer will be born of the Firebrand's cursed blood. Pure legend. No one a legend transforms into prophecy. When it gains believers. I think you're right to be reticent in talking about the woman. I see. Do you wish to say more? No. Can we start? Naturally. I knew you cared about her. But your tone, the emotions you so carefully conceal. Let's continue, please. Make yourself comfortable and try to relax. You must take my hand and talk of Siri. Tell me where you think she might be. Who could be at her side? Mm -hmm. If Siri couldn't find me, I'm sure she would have looked for another friend. Who do you mean? Maybe Dandelion. They liked each other a lot.
attempt of a swallow at first. After that, just nightmares. At times, the dreams can multiply. Show the past as well as the future. The swallow. It symbolizes Ciri. She contacted Dandelion. I didn't know he was in town. The poet? Heard about him. Someone left him the Rosemary and Thyme in their will. The Rosemary and Thyme? Where's that? As you enter the city through the Red Light District, you come upon a bridge. The Rosemary is just past it. Dandelion inherited a brothel? So I've heard. Thanks for your help. Good luck, Witcher. I hope you find your Siri. Yes. Yes. Come back, you stinking standies! All we want. Next time, I'll rip your fucking legs off and shove them up your ass till you've toes for teeth. Gear up in the nick of time, as always. Zoltan, with your boot to someone's ass, as always. Who were those men? Local color. I wasn't they going more than a moment. Long enough for them to turn our home into theirs. All right, time for some spring cleaning. I've got to boot them all out. Care to join me? With pleasure. Your dead mates also. Reminds me of a base of war. Yeah, almost like we never left Bert. Oh, no, another trappy. I'm pleased. That went well. Now we can greet each other like the gods ordained. Ages, pal. Hey, Sultan. You look good. Training plenty lately. What with the war on, no Mahakaman meat to be found, but Redanian laggers standing in just fine. You, though, you've weathered a bit. Something worrying you. It's about Siri. I know she came to Novigrad. Might still be here. You mean she's come back? I'll be damned. I wonder if I'd recognize her. How many years is it now? Six? Seven? But what'd she be doing here? Hiding, probably. 
She might be in danger. See her in your dreams? Couple times. Her and the Wild Hunt. Oh, not good. Not at all, but I know she came here and contacted Dandelion. Uh, we have a wee problem then. Where's Dandelion? <laughs> I'd like to know that myself. Maybe he could explain what the hell's going on. Not just when he returned, as you saw. I'm expecting to come home to a hot leg of boar and some cold ale, and what do you find instead? A shite storm! Dandelion gone, the tavern chock full of bums. Have no clue what happened. Hmm. Let's look around. Might find something that'll put us on his trail. Prime idea. I say we start on the ground floor. It's where he sat and wrote. From the finest vineyards, every last one. No one knows. Aha! A note from a grateful muse. Reading someone else's letters. My visage red and hot. I plunged into purest ecstasy, imbibing its nectar. Your dexterous digits on my. <laughs> This the loot he got from the elves of Dolbathana. Aye. Must have been in a great rush to leave it behind. of Toussaint Dry, five cases of sodden triple mead. Hmm, nothing here. No, 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 that's exactly what we're looking for. It's his planner. Huh, dandelion and planning, good one. Besides, anything he wrote here probably had a special system. Chaos only he could ever decipher. Actually, in the past, sometimes not even that. Give him a chance. Might not be that bad. Seems when he inherited this fine establishment, it came with some fine responsibilities. Bookkeeping among them. He also made a habit of noting down the times of his meetings, official and private. So, who'd he been seeing of late? Ah, here it is. Hmm. Seems he's only been meeting women of late, the dog. Zoltan, please. You really want to track down the women Dandelion's been wooing? Most likely all angry women by now. Got any better ideas? Besides, Dandelion's a babbler. I sure to know something of his doings. Hmm. We should divide these somehow. Perhaps... Ah, fuck it. I'll ask the lassies in my half, you interrogate the ones in yours. Such a... Zoltan, wait. This is in verse. And you figure that's unnatural because... Wonderful. Meet me back here when you're done. Share our findings. Right, you are. Need to do a wee bit of tidying before I go. Cannot stomach the idea of coming back to this mess. And you'd be wise to read your bit before you scurry off. If you need anything, I'll be next door. From the finest vineyards, every last one. No one knows the fruit of the fruit of the vine like dandelion. The faculty of Oxenford University is honored to grant Julian Alfred Pankratz, Viscount de Letinove. Title of Master of the Seven Liberal Arts. Keep annual balladry contest. Silver Laurel awarded to Master Dandelion. Prince Harry would themselves did the honors. And the feast afterwards to celebrate the laureates. Dandelion.
Shot up. Still here? Looking for something? Ah, oh, just checking to see that everything's in place. Buggers might have hold something off for pawning. Actually, glad you're still here. Wanted to ask you about someone. Though well she knows the touch of silk and lace, she shuns not straw when gripped in lust's embrace. Molly, keeps things tidy for the Baroness Lavalette. A Baroness within reach and he settled for a chambermaid? Dandelion's not one to judge folk by their station. You know that. Like he says, in the alcove, we're all equals. Yeah, guess a true poet observes life in all its aspects, examines it from all perspectives. If I didn't know him better, I'd say he was jealous about this Marabella. Oh, I doubt it. Former pupil. And <laughs> well, the tales he told me about her. Doubt I want to hear them. Probably better off not. Things between them took a turn for the strange at some point. Meaning? She had him wearing mummer's costumes. Took to calling him Christian. Referring to herself as Anastasia. Huh. Truly perverse. He did a kind of half of it. Called him a stallion once. That's the fool trigger as a compliment. Till she pulled a bit in the reins into her cupboard. Ho <laughs> ho! Poor bastard fled out the window. Vespula. Name rings a bell. She threw his knickers out the window. That's her. Hollered something about him being a scoundrel with a voice like a consumptive pheasant. That's her. Threw flower pots at him. Guess soul flames never die. Like a rose abashed of its crimson hue, fair Rosa would sink into humor's blue. She shunned her lessons in civility to swing her dwarf with agility. Dwarf. Never suspected he'd be so humble. <laughs> Dwarfs, what Rosa Var Atre named her Guihir. Well chosen, eh? All right. But Var Atra? Her dad happened to be the Nilfgaardian ambassador? He is. You know him? Wouldn't say that. Had a brief conversation with him at the palace in Vizima. Well, then you've a good notion of the kind of bloke he is. Commissioned Dandelion to tutor Rosa and her sister in the art of rhetoric. But we, Rosa, preferred swordplay. How dare she reject the great bard in favor of a common swordmaster? More than one, it seems. Week on week, we get fresh gossip about her thrashing another instructor. So bad he resigns. Word has it her dad's now looking to hire our next victim. I mean, instructor. A figure most rare, her nature duel. Look deep in her eyes or be made a fool. Well, well. Seems fascinated with this one. Ah, uh, not without reason. Never been much for elven women myself, but this one's exceptional. Dare say Francesca Finderbeard be jealous. You want to take this one, then? Nah, you can have her. Why? You see, elven beauty's like a young Beauclair wine. Whereas I prefer vodka straight up. <sighs> well... Know about all I wanted to know. Thanks for your help. So bored I could spew. I will get you every last copper. With interest. Give me a week, please. Horson's no banker. He's an honest man. You pay on time, you get protection. You don't pay... Help! What you hollering for, stupid wench? What are you hoping for? A knight in shining armor? Close enough. Keep out of this, Greyhead. Not your concern. Get this coin and leave. That ain't how it works. Vespulas to pay or be taught a lesson. Already given her a verbal reprimand. Now go before I teach you a lesson. Come on. Gold's gold. Thank you. 
Oh, thank you. To think there are men who'll help a stranger out of the kindness of their hearts. Not entirely out of kindness, and you're not entirely a stranger. What are you... Oh, I know you. You're that witcher took Dandelion out whoring. Gerald, right? Not Gerald. Geralt. Oh. Dreadful sorry. What do you think? Where could Dandelion be? Probably out whoring. That horse pheasant. That lying scoundrel. Ouch. What did he do to get your goat? Same thing as ever. Prize bullshitter came back saying it was till death do we part this time. And no more than a week passed before I spotted him in Harborside, strolling with some trollop on his arm. It was the last straw. All those questions about the washerwomen at the bathhouse, then this. I beat him black and blue and threw him out on his ear. Dandelion ask you about other washerwomen? Not terribly subtle even for him. Maybe he likes some sudsy. Ah, uh, maybe. But what did he ask about, exactly? Oh, this and that, really. What's it like at the bathhouse? Have I got any friends there? What are their working hours? I don't know. Maybe he's looking to hire one for his tavern. Maybe I got all in a huff for no reason. This woman he was with in the harbour. Who was she? Claimed she was his niece from Covia. Ha! <laughs> Horvia, more likely. Corset so tight her eyes were popping out her head. His too, come to think of it. An artist or a whore. Doesn't much matter as they're one in the same. Thanks for your help. Listen, when I find Dandelion, anything I should tell him? No. I mean, tell him he's a two-faced snake, but it would be nice if he dropped by. 